Hi fishy folks and happy Fry Fry Friday to you. Before I start talking about the video, why don't you do me a favor? Go ahead and smash that subscribe button, gently caress the like button, maybe even share it out on your social media channels if you don't mind. I'd appreciate it. When we're done with the video, head on over to www.michaelsfishroom.com to check out some pretty cool guppies. I'm telling you, mutt guppies are where it's at right now. All these expensive strains, they are beautiful, but I've been selling the bejesus out of the mutt guppies because people just want good, hardy guppies. They're, they don't really care if they breed true or not. And that's what I got. I got some mutt guppies that are spectacular. I also have some, you know, fancy strains if you want to spend the money that do breed true, but you know, check it out, michaelsfishroom.com. Anyway, today we're gonna to talk about the Keystone Clash. The Keystone Clash is a uh, all species tropical fish show in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, this weekend, September 14th, 15th, and 16th. And uh, I will be in the vendor room on Saturday and Sunday, right next to Super Cichlids. I'm very excited to be hanging out with my besties in the hobby at this show, including Lisa and Martin from Super Cichlids. Check out supercichlids.com for all your fish food needs. Use promo code SHIP, the number four, free for free shipping. But I wanna talk about what's going on in Michael's Fish Room in preparation for the Keystone Clash. So first, I'm bringing four species of guppies, which I'll show you in a minute, and five species of plecos, four that I've been breeding in my fish room, and some blue phantoms that I've been trying to breed, but I'm gonna sell the little juveniles I have and maybe get a colony and, and start to grow them out and see if I can't breed them. But uh, the other thing I'm bringing, which uh, I went to go see Susie at New Jersey Betta Hatchery yesterday, and she gave me some bettas to sell at the, uh, at the Clash. Now, <clears throat> here's the thing about bettas. You can buy a $5 betta, you can buy a $300 betta. And they may or may not look the same. Most of these are homebred in New Jersey in her fish room. And Susie has won, I forgot, she won some new breeder best of show, oh my God, she's awesome award at uh, the International Betta Congress that was held a couple weeks ago. Um, pretty cool stuff though. But this is my favorite, no, I'm not gonna show you my favorite, I'm gonna show you my favorite last. I'm gonna show you one that she bred. This is a purple butterfly Dumbo half moon male. And uh, she keeps them in these little containers when she, sh when she sells them at shows. And you know what, she told me, no problem. One week, four or five days in this container, no problem. Change half the water out, you'll be fine. And that's what I'm gonna do. So there's one, purple butterfly Dumbo half moon male. Here's another one she bred, pink, white, bicolor, Dumbo half moon male. This one is, these are both three months old, both bred in her fish room, her betta hatchery. Look at how stunning that is. Is that not stunning? All right, this is one of her Thailand imports. She does import from Thailand as well. And uh, this is a fancy dragon marble half moon male, about five months of age. Look at that. You're not gonna find that in your typical PetSmart, Petco, or local fish store. I mean, you might find it in a local fish store if they uh, if they really import some nice looking bettas. Look at them. Look at how spectacular that is. Hi. Just come and say hi to me. All right, now I'm gonna show you my favorite. And this one's actually on Michael's uh, fishroom.com on the website. Look at this. This this is some, I forgot what it is, half moon deliciousness, spectacular betta. Look, look at that tail. Oh my gosh. I'm a little excited. This one will be for sale at the, uh, at the show as well. Come see me. I have a feeling these are gonna sell rather quick. I only have 13 of them, 13 different varieties. I do have some females as well. And, uh, but come see me starting Saturday morning. I'm assuming, I'm gonna leave here around six. Now I have my little guy with me. So as long as I can get him, get his little butt out of bed at 5.30 with the promise of going to Starbucks, we should leave the house around six. Hopefully get to the clash by 8.30, depending on how many times he wants to stop. Hopefully zero. All right, fishy folks, let's check out some guppies and plecos that I'm bringing to the clash. All right, stand by. All right, fishy folks, here's the first species or strain of guppies I'm bringing. These are the Rainbow Dragon Dumbo Mosaics. So they have big black um, pectoral fins. They have a very colorful tail. And uh, I mean, you can see that male right there in the middle, how fancy 
fancy he is. And even the females have really nice tails, which is kind of nice. Um, you know, if you, most females are just kind of bland, but these, these females are, are pretty nice as far as their tails go. Um, I got these from a, a local subscriber of mine. She grew them out in a pond, and uh, at the end of the season, she said, I'm, I'm pulling my pond down, do you want them? So I took them. But I'm gonna bring these to the clash. I only have probably four or five males, so these, I'm guessing, are gonna go pretty quick at the clash on Saturday. I'm gonna bring enough for a couple pairs and trios, obviously. And you can see there's a, uh, a ton of fry in here. Um, there's been at least two drops of fry. About three days after I brought them in, they dropped fry, so. Yeah, these guys, I'm, I'm expecting to be a pretty good seller um, at the clash, because you don't really see too many of these local. Certainly you can buy them and pay shipping, but. Uh, some of the males have more uh, black in their body than the others, and I, I do like those a lot. So, All right, fishy folks, what else am I bringing to the class you want to know? I'm bringing, I'm going to scoot them on my stool over here, my rolling creeper. So this is a male guppy tank, but in this tank are black Moscows, which I'm bringing, and also red cobra guppies. Look at that stunning red cobra. Yeah, you didn't see it. There it is. Stunning red cobra. Look at it. And uh, these are all bred here in Michael's fish room. Uh, I did buy some stock of red cobras from another subscriber of mine. And uh, I've been breeding them ever since, trying to uh, prepare for this show. And the black Moscows I got at a uh, uh, an auction few months ago and I've been breeding those as well selling them on the website as well they're a pretty good sell on their website but uh, a lot of people are looking for black Moscow's and I do have a lot of them to sell so looking forward to people buying these and breeding them themselves <clears throat> there's a little bit of variety in these red Cobras which is nice some more red or pink body some more of the standard you know uh, red Cobra males I have quite a few red Cobra females I actually have three tanks of them uh, there's this. Um, now the thing about Cobras, and I've said this before, red is the dominant color, but some of these have blue tails, some of them have yellow tails, and I try to separate them. This is the more blue tail tank. That's the more yellow tail tank. There's a few blues in there. And that's the most recent batch of females I, uh, I got as breeders. And there's obviously some breeders in here that have had some fry, so. But these are the females I'll probably be bringing. These have the most red in the tail. And uh, that's what people like to see. These also, these females are also quite nice, quite large, which is good. All right, so what do we got? We have the, we have the rainbow mosaic, dragon, dumbo ears, so many names, I'm tired. We have the red cobras. We have the black Moscow's. I'll show you the black Moscow females in a second. And then, another stunner are these platinum mosaic dragons. Platinum Dragon Mosaics, I think is the official name. You can see the bodies are platinum or silver. The tails are the mosaic, so they have the uh, many spots and different patterns. And then of course, uh, the dragon means the, the black pectoral fins. Some people told me these are really Dumbos, but I, that's not how I bought them. And uh, I'm gonna start to try to selectively breed to get bigger pectorals, but that's probably not until the winter when I have some time and I'm not, I'm not selling so many fish in the winter, obviously because of the weather. Speaking of plecos, uh, these aren't the plecos I'm bringing. These I'm still growing out. What am I bringing? Oh, I'm bringing the L144, although they might just be lemon blue eyes, not officially L144s, I was told by a pleco breeder. But these juveniles, uh, there's about 150 in there. Uh, looks like there's been two separate drops already. And so I'm gonna be uh, bringing a bunch of these females. I'm sorry, a bunch of these juveniles because a lot of people want them. All right, fishy folks, in here, there's two juvenile blue phantoms. There's one hanging out right there. You can see his little butt. I'm bringing those. Um, they're gonna be fairly cheap for blue phantoms, about $25. Uh, good way to get a blue phantom cheap and grow them out. I'll have two at the clash. I'm also bringing these fantastic uh, super red fry. 
kind of juveniles. There are some bigger ones in there, some darker ones as well. I'm gonna be bringing as many as I can find in this tank. I'm gonna hold back probably uh, five or six as a breeding colony, but everything else I'm gonna bring and hopefully sell. And then in this red cobra tank, uh, there are some calicos. You can see them hanging out on the glass. I'm gonna bring those, about an inch long juveniles, but uh, growing fast. So what's that? That's three species. And the last species I'm bringing are these uh, albino bristle nose. You can see there's a couple males hanging out on the sponge. There's some floating rapache right there. It looks like a meteor. Um, but these I got as about one inch fry and I've been, uh, I've been power feeding them ever since and they're growing quite nice. And these will also be for sale. I think I have about 20 of these for sale. I have two more colonies that I'm, I'm breeding. I may uh, grab one of these, put them with another colony and take another one of, you know, from that colony, put it in here. I'm not really sure, but I should have about 20 of these at the clash as well. So why don't you guys come on by to the Keystone Clash in Harrisburg, PA. Check out keystoneclash.com for information. Come visit me. I'll be selling shirts as well. And I'll be right next to Super Cichlids, which I'm very excited about and uh, hopefully I can meet some of my uh, some of you guys who watch the uh, the channel I love meeting you guys and talking to you and uh, remember I'm just a dumb guy with a camera I'm not anything special so just come on and shake my hand and you know give me a hug or whatever and we'll be good all right fishy folks hope to see you soon everyone have a great day who cares Jesus this is so bad Hey, fishy folks, and happy Fry Fry Friday to you. Today, I don't know. I, I'm supposed to tell you to subscribe and smash the like button and share, so I'm going to do that again. It's like YouTube, all the really big YouTubers, it's what they tell you to do. you got to remind them, because they don't know. So, yeah. Hi, fishy folks. Happy Fry Fry Friday to you. Today is a very busy day at Michael's Fish Room. I've taken the day off of work and not just because I worked like a gajillion and 14 hours in the, over the last two weeks because of a big meeting that I was in. You don't really care about that. Let's start over, shall we? I hate when I leave Teflon tape out like that. Little tip, wrap it up, put it back in the cover, it'll last longer. All right, stand by. Me, 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 me. <sighs> Hi, fishy folks, and happy Fry Fry Friday to you. Hope everyone had a great week. I know I had a very busy week. Actually, the last two weeks have been really, really busy for me at work. I took today off to prepare for the Keystone Clash, and there's a lot going on in Michael's fish room. I'm bringing four species of guppies and four species of plecos, and I'm going to put guppies and plecos in the same tank. And I hope to sell a lot of them. I'm also bringing fantastic bettas. I should show you some. Stand by. <clears throat> Hi, fishy folks, and happy Fry Fry Friday to you. Hope everyone had a great week. I had a very busy and stressful week. I had planned to take off today, Friday, Fry Fry Friday, to prepare for the Keystone Clash, which if you don't know by now, just don't even watch any more of my videos. I'm not even your friend anymore. I've been talking about the Keystone Clash for at least a month. I've had the organizers on a live screen, the key, screen, 